what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Man, this one's gonna run you hot. 50 year old Michael Anthony Livingston was suspected of selling a plant drug that is legal in well over half of the country. But because in the other half of the country, it's illegal because they haven't figured out a way to tax you yet. Michael is in jail and his mother is dead. 72 year old Geraldine Townsend was shot and killed this week as Bartersville police executed a search warrant to bust Livingston for the alleged sale of marijuana. When the heavily armed and likely militarized men kicked in the door to her home, Townsend, likely not knowing who her home invaders were, picked up a pellet gun and fired off two pellets. A Bartisville officer then shot and killed her. While taking Livingston into custody, officers heard shots and two officers were struck with some type of projectile, it was reported. Townsend was struck in the chest and later died at the hospital. Livingston, the subject of the arrest, watched as his mother was shot in the chest and bled out on the floor in their home. How was she supposed to react when somebody burst through her door with guns? How do you know? Home invaders often dress up like cops and they often wear fatigue like cops wear, right? They often dress up like cops. They often, you know, a lot of times those cops you know, they'll put on the all black with the mask and thing, and they say that's what they had on, all black and mask, and they came in there. See, this happens way too much in the black community. When it started happening in predominantly white communities or even Asian communities and other communities, then we can say it's not a racial thing. But we all know what it is. They don't have any regard for black life. They think that they can do anything that they want to do. And they're coming in to kill. They're getting off on killing. See, these are not accidents. These are calculated murders. So I wonder what's going to happen when the rabbit get the gun. Because you know how they say, ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun, right? So this is why there's so much contempt for the police in the black community. You want respect, you got to earn respect. And I know right now you're going to have your cop suckers all in the comments. Well, you pull the police, you pull the gun out on the police, what you think going to happen? Again, how the hell did she know it was the police? See, really, a person really ain't got much choice. Because you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. I say if you're going to go down, you may as well go down swinging. Because you don't really have a choice. The police are reckless. They're busting in people's houses and doing whatever they want to do. The same way criminals do. Like, it's no difference between the common criminal, the common home invader, and the police. The only difference is the authority that one have over the other. That's it. They do the same thing. They dress the same way in many, in many aspects. So what is a person to do if somebody just kick in your door and just come in on you? If it's the police, you out of here. If it's regular home invaders, you out here. I don't know nothing. I don't know why I said regular, but if it's home invaders, then you out of here. You damned if you do. You damned if you don't. Either way, you're probably going to end up dead. Because a lot of these home invaders, man. They do just like the police. They take life with no regard. They don't even think about it. They just do it. 
This lady was seven, 72 years old. So now you got this coward hanging out at the police department bragging about how he killed a 72-year-old woman. You don't get no points for that punk. You don't get no points for that. That's like a bully. You know what I'm saying? That's like somebody bullying. I mean, you don't get no points for that. This dude keep just... So she pulled out a pellet gun and she popped off a couple rounds with a pellet gun. Y'all know, first of all, they said that they heard shots, right? They heard two shots. We all know that pellet guns do not sound like no damn guns, right? They don't sound like guns. And everybody know grandma didn't have no damn silencer. So they knew that that gun was fake. They knew it was not a real gun. But they killed that woman anyway because they wanted to kill her. They was mad at the audacity. In fact, I don't even think that they was mad at the fact that she had the audacity to shoot him with a pellet gun. I think they were just excited that she had a gun and she gave them a reason to shoot. That's what I truly believe. The problem with the police today is that the police have no regard for life, for black life especially. They have no regard. They just burst into people's houses and do whatever they want to do. Home is supposed to be your castle. How can you protect your home if the police can just come in and do what they want to? Even when they hit the wrong house, they don't even get punished. This woman lost her life over a marijuana bus, a nonviolent crime. They going in to arrest her, her son and somebody get murdered over some marijuana. This, this story has two sides to it. One, you had a reckless policeman. The other side, you have a reckless son. We got to talk about that. See, that's an old saying. You never shit where you lay your head. Her son is partially responsible for her debt because he put his mama's life in danger by doing something illegal, right? If the cops wouldn't have killed the mother, it's possible that home invaders would have got her. Because when them killers come, they ain't asking no questions. They come in, man, and they, they do everybody. Some of them, they don't give a damn. They don't even think about it. A lot of times, they don't, they don't even walk out with nothing. They just throw their lives away, too. They kill people and then throw their lives away. Just, just a bunch of ignorance, madness all over the place. But in any event, I'm going to tell you like this. Like, a real man would never put his family in jeopardy. Never put his family's life in jeopardy. A real man would always protect his family. I don't care what he's doing. He's not going to shit where he lay his head. When I did my dirt, I always protected my family. All my family. I kept them out. Me and my homies who was about that life, we did what we had to do. But our families, we always protected our family. We kept our families far away from anything that we was doing wrong. These dudes today, a lot of them, man, they don't care. They're so selfish. They're all the way out for self. They don't even think about it. This dude, then he's 50 years old. On top of everything. Ain't no excuse for him at all. Ain't no excuse for any anybody doing it. But when you're 50 years old, you ought to fucking know better. So he doing dirt. And he living with his mama. Or his mama living with him. Either way, he got his mama under his roof while he doing dirt. That's a cardinal sin in hustling. So he ought to be going through it majorly. Then he had to watch his mama get killed on top of everything. And trust me, man, I'm not by any stretch of the imagination giving the police a pass. The police are trigger happy. I don't believe nothing they say. I don't believe nothing they do. I would give anybody the benefit over the, of doubt over them collectively. I know of one, two, three, maybe, but man, the rest of them, man, you know how I feel about it. Because... They're very reckless, man. Very reckless. Very disrespectful. 
But it's just amazing how they always jumping on television trying to demand respect. They're always trying to demand. Yeah, they don't ask for respect. They try to demand respect. We're going to disrespect everybody. We're going to disrespect everything, disrespect everybody. But we demand respect because we're police officers. Man, if you don't get the hell out of here with that madness. 72 years old. And this ain't the first time, and it won't be the last time, they've been killing a lot of old people in black communities lately. And children. It's time for a change. And I ain't asking for one. It is what it is. When the law no longer defends your rights, it no longer applies to you. That's all I'm saying. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.